And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to save title templates for future reference. Someone in the comment section asked me how to do that for the legacy title. Legacy title can be found up here, file new, legacy title. Problem is that Adobe has announced that it's going to get rid of the legacy title in a couple of months. So it's still there, but it's going to get shut down in the future. So it's way better to just use the essential graphics. Let me just create some text and give you an example. I call it a graphic and I'll size it up. The cursor tool, and I've used the type tool to type it in. You can also press T. Go to the graphics layout, and you will find the essential graphics popping up. Under edit, you can adjust the text. So give it a different color, a different font, all of that stuff. So it kind of looks like the legacy title. Or it basically gives you everything the legacy title offered you, which is why they're going to shut it down, I guess. Let me add a simple animation. So I want to go to the center from the left. So I'll start an animation for position. new keyframe before it and now it moves from left to right and stops in the center. So let's just say you want to save this graphics example, this template, to use it in future videos with different text. What you should be doing is, let me get back to the editing layout and you can see that better. So I've got a simple black video's background and I want to click on the text element with the right click and then export it as motion graphics template. Click on it. Give it a name, let me just call that graphic for tutorial. Something like this. You can also give it keywords. That way you can find it more easily. You can change the destination right here with the drop down. I'll keep it. So I'll just confirm it by clicking on OK. Let me delete this text now and I go to graphics. So the graphics layout is open again and under essential graphics I've got the browse and this search field. I'll type in graphic and there it is. Let me type in graphic for tutorial and it should only pop up and all of the other options are gone. Now you can just drag and drop it into your timeline. Let me get back to the editing layout. And here is our text element again. You can press T for the type tool and then change the text. So it's still editable. Let me type in another text. Ah, that might be too big. So let me just get rid of the first word. Let me call that text too. And the animation is also still there. So it has the same style, the same animation. Everything is preserved. And you've created your own template like this that you can use for every project and video that you want to use it for. So once again, the legacy tile up here, it's going to get shut down by Adobe. They said in a couple of months from now. So it's better to use the essential graphics. If you can't find this graphics layout, just go to window and click on essential graphics and this menu should pop up. So you will find the browse and the edit here once again. I hope this video answered your questions. If not, let me know in the comments below. In any case, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.